Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, back to you with a brand new video on the channel, and sorry about it being vertical landscape, or vertical. Uh, I wasn't thinking about it when I recorded this, but this is a video of me showing one of my personal bypasses for Google Pixels. This works on many different models, uh, although you might need to get a little creative as far as actually doing the steps to make it work for specific models. Now, I'm sure I could have recorded this better, but I was just simply using my phone to record another phone, and it's not the easiest. But, as you can see, basically you wanna just get into the keyboard settings by setting the keyboard to a different language, so you get the little globe icon on the keyboard. Then you wanna search Morse code uh, for a video that brings up the YouTube uh, video on um, well, YouTube, and then you use a certain link at the top by clicking on the channel from the little menu buttons to actually get Google Chrome open. And then I went to my own personal website and I opened up the settings app. Very simple idea, just open settings. And as you can see, I put it back to uh, English just to make things a little bit easier. And the reason the accessibility menu is actually already there is because I tried this once and I messed up the timing. But what you basically need to do is you need to go into all apps and Android setup you need to force stop, uh, also clear all data. Then you need to find Google Play services. Oops. Google Play services you need to force stop that and disable it as well as delete the cache. Do the same to the Google Play Store which I actually already had done and then you need to enable system apps because you need to see the specific pixel setup application which for Google pixels actually they have their own setup app which is really dumb and you want to clear the cache and disable that app as well then you want to just try to go back as far well actually no you need to go and enable the accessibility menu as well as the three button menu under uh, system settings and then you want to basically just restart the phone. I know I go through this kind of quickly but maybe one of these days I'll make a more in-depth video. I am planning on releasing a video for Samsung devices as well as I have some videos already I think for other devices. Um, like I think I did one on a Palm Mini at some point but I don't know if that video ever went public because this kind of stuff, once you make it public, they basically patch it, which, you know, blessing and a curse, just makes it so I uh, have to do it more. But anyway, we're just waiting for the phone to restart. And as you can see, I got the little accessibility icon there. We can hit skip. And right here, you wanna let it go through until it gets to a certain menu just after uh, just a sec when it's trying to run updates basically. Since Google Play services are disabled, it will forever stay on that screen. And what you need to do is hit the little accessibility menu guy icon after you hit don't copy. Uh, it should be the next screen up, this one. So you hit the little accessibility icon, go to set uh, assistant, hit the settings button that pops up. That's a timing thing. You might just wanna spam that little corner of the screen hit not now to update and from there it will actually take you through the setup you don't have to put in a Google account and you're done so you hit the little menu button and if we go into settings you'll see that the Google account is removed no accounts added all done that simple I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. Peace out. 